been a long journey getting here, but this is it. The end of the road. All I have to do now is figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's always something. I guess it's not supposed to be easy. I guess this must be the well of making. It's not as imposing as I thought it would be. Not even close. the well of making. It's very deep and very clear and obviously magical. shaped itself into a hand. God, you came. I thought you were lost for good. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred place. Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the well of making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? That is a mystery. You are to be the 13th guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. Your hand should have unlocked the tower, like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current guardian, and I will continue to be until you go through the ritual and take my place. Hold on. I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. see this place again. It's cold. Was it always this cold? I do not know. When I was here last, I did not feel much at all. Well, I'm freezing. I spent more than 1,000 years in this tower, and yet I cannot remember ever feeling warm or cold. Being Guardian, there is just the balance and our duty to it. You didn't feel anything? There are no emotions. Emotions interfere with the balance. 
I was the conduit between magic and logic, between chaos and order. And I had to be clean. That sounds horrible. It never felt that way. I was content, as far as it was possible for me to be content, until the very end when I became restless. That's when you left the tower? I had no choice. The balance forced me out. I was polluting the flows that passed through me, through this room, and it was time for someone to succeed me. So now it's... it's my turn. To be Guardian. Are you afraid? I've never been so afraid in my life. A thousand years. Everything will be gone when I'm... when I'm done. My friends, my family... dead. My world probably changed beyond recognition. I know, April. I have experienced this myself. When I returned to Stark, I could not believe that all the things I knew, the memories of a life that I recalled as clearly as if it were only yesterday, they were all gone. I was lost, alone, dying, until the Vanguard picked me up from the street and imprisoned me. It shames me to say it, but that was a relief. To be fed, to sleep comfortably, to be warm. You have every right to be afraid, but consider this. Your sacrifice will be the salvation of mankind, of two worlds. What greater gift is there? What greater reward than to know you are like a god? Believe me, I could do without the reward. If there was any other way, I'd embrace it in a second. But I won't shy away from this either. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Good. To wish for the loss of dreams and emotions would be wrong. But to acknowledge it in the face of your fears, this proves you are ready. Okay. So, what now? What do I do? Just walk to the edge of the disk. The tower will know what to do. If you are the new guardian, the tower will embrace you. All right, here it goes. One thousand years. Nothing's happening. You are right. Then it is as I suspected. What? What did you suspect? That you are not the one chosen to take my place in the tower. You are not the 13th Guardian. But if I'm not, then... I think I may be able to answer that question, Miss Ryan. You? How, How the hell did you get here? You didn't think your little games back at the station would fool anyone, did you? Well, aside from those moronic and useless guards. It puzzles me why Mr. McAllen could be such a visionary and yet be so lacking in his comprehension of human nature to surround himself with brainless louts. Maybe because he wasn't human. He was not. That would explain a lot. If he was not human, then what was he? You mean, you didn't know? He was your boss, and you had no idea who you were working for. How pathetic can you get? Don't toy with me, child! Don't you dare toy with me! I... I... don't. I do not know what came over me. I'm not prone to anger. In fact, I'm usually quite incapable of it. it must be the environment that's... I don't feel quite right. Like there's something in here that's calling to me. What are you doing to me? I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. No matter. I can ignore this. It's so hot in here. 
Don't you feel it? The heat? I'm freezing. Maybe you should lie down for a minute or two. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Miss Ryan. I actually have a good reason to be here, but you do not. After all, you are no longer a candidate in this race, are you? I may not become the new Guardian, but neither will you. The Balance will never accept you. Don't be so sure, April. I... Uh, th that's your name, is it not, April? Yeah. I will be the Guardian. The Balance will have no choice. Not with you and the previous Guardian. Gone. And I'm... I'm... There's something... Here, isn't there? Someone's calling my name. Someone's... No. No. Not that. Not here. You brought it here, you stupid bitch! Stop! No! Stay away from me! Don't! No! again. You gave me back my life. I did? You don't sound like yourself. Are you okay? I do sound like myself. And I'm better than I've ever been, April. I I'm whole again. So it worked? The joining of two halves? Magic and logic. Order and chaos. I'm in balance now. I am balance, and it's glorious. I'm sorry for what I did to you, April. And to you, sir, I I'm sorry for everything. It wasn't you. Not all of you, anyway. It was me, but it misguided me. I, I wish I could undo all the harm I've done to both worlds. Both as Gordon Holloway and as the Chaos Vortex. But I can't undo my actions. All I can do is make sure they'll never happen again. And the only way to ensure that is by becoming the Guardian. You? The Guardian? It's my destiny, April Ryan, not yours. I was born to be the Guardian. And although the Vanguard almost managed to prevent that from ever happening, they didn't succeed. And now, I'm ready. Thanks to you. But what about me? If I'm not going to be the Guardian, then who am I? That's something I cannot answer for you, April. Only you can do that. But I don't think the universe is done with you. You are important. Just not in the way you imagined. He speaks the truth, April. He is to be the Guardian now. It was always his destiny, even though it was taken from him by the Vanguard. We will begin the changing of the Guards now, Gordon. And you, April. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, your courage, your kindness. Okay, stop. You're making me feel very self-conscious. I only did what had to be done. Which is more than most people would have done. Your journey here will be remembered, April Ryan. Remembered and retold for all time. Right now, I'm only concerned about what's coming next. Where do I go now? Where can I go? That is your choice to make.
But do not fret. This world will never hurt you again. How do I get back to Stark? Or Arcadia, for that matter? Walk. Walk until you are outside, and then go back inside. It is easy from here. You can go anywhere you wish. I guess then that this is goodbye. Perhaps we will meet again. Yeah, why not? It's not an impossible thought. Anyway, you guys have an important job to get to. Don't let me hold you back. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. So that's the end of that. Funny. I feel almost... melancholy. Despite everything that's happened. I'm actually gonna miss this. This adventure. After all, what am I doing now? Going back to school? Live like nothing has happened? Like I'm just a... a normal person? Well, it's a long way home. I'll figure it out before I get there. Wherever there is. Hey! Hey, April, wait up! Where you going? Wait! Don't leave me here!